Welcome back to another Stevie 3 gaming playthrough. Today we're going to be checking out Entombed. Entombed is an audio game um, in the theme of roguelikes. It was developed by Driftwood Entertainment a number of years ago. It's quite an old game. It also has a lot of bugs in it that was were never fixed. But it still was the closest to an audio roguelike we've ever had in the audio games community. Although a lot of the tactical parts of roguelikes are not in it. It's, it's more of exploring the dungeon and then you run into battles and the battles turn into turn-based. People have compared it to like Final Fantasy or I guess Skyrim. I've never played either. But So let's start this up. Welcome to You're going to hear uh, NVDA. Okay, there we go. Welcome to Entombed. This is version 1.02K. I guess I shouldn't have cut that off. Uh, I will have a link in the description where you you can go get this game. It is now free. It used to cost money, but it is now a free game. Let's put NVDA to sleep. Now... It will say this on your screen, but I will also say this as well. This is an audio game. For those who do not know what an audio game is, it relies on sound only to communicate all the information about the game made for blind players. Start new game. And <clears throat> there is no graphics to see. It's all sound, so for the best experience, you'll want to use headphones. Uh, this game isn't heavily reliant on stereo uh, sound except for when you're walking through corridors and stuff you can hear wind sounds that are very subtle um, but that will come through on left or right side you will also hear doors as well now my goal here is to beat this game all the way through without save scumming or reloading a save because to be dead honest with you, I have never beat this game without just reloading a save file when something goes wrong. I've never played it, uh, beat it the way it should be beaten. I have beaten this before, but I guess in a way it doesn't truly count. So let's see if we can't manage to do it. Start new game. So we will start new game. Character creation. Please type the character's given name. And we will call ourselves Stevie 3. Now enter the character's family name. Family name? The Gamer. How about that? Will be Stevie 3 The Gamer. This character's name is Stevie 3 The Gamer. Is this okay? That works, yes. Is Stevie 3 The Gamer male or female? Male or female. Um, hopefully this is understandable. I hope I don't have the voice too fast here. We'll choose male. Choose your race, human. Now we can choose our race. I have these uh, unlocked... All of these unlocked. There's a couple races you have to unlock by trying different combinations. So goblin, elf, half elf, ogre, gnome, dwarf, halfling. So those are our choices. Fairy, ratkin, human. So there's a lot of choices there. Um, I think we're just gonna go human, just the basic. I'm gonna try the basic beginner type for this. Is what I'm thinking here. So we'll be Choose human, job. fighter, and we will be a fighter. Now the the interesting thing about entombed is you actually get to select two jobs. So, you know, you think of most games and you'd be a, a fighter or a mage. Well, in this game, if I really wanted to, I, I can be a fighter mage, fighter mage. So, but right now when you pick fighter, the game will start and we won't get our second job until we hit level two, experience level two. There are 25 floors in the dungeon. Uh, this game has quests to complete and other things along the way and I will discuss and talk through all that as we get there but just to show all the different uh, classes you can be fighter you got a fighter mage, mage healer, healer thief fortune teller fortune wanderer, teller wanderer ranger, ranger necromancer, necromancer druid, druid brawler, brawler bard, bard barbarian, monk assassin barbarian paladin, assassin fighter. and paladin so there's a decent selection and decent amount of different combinations you can try for this game. Um, so let's go ahead and start this up as a fighter. Starting new game. Stevie three the gamer threw a spear so erratically at the best of heroes competition that it decapitated the prince who was watching from the stands. For this reason, the dungeon is your new home. Your adventure has begun. So it tells you 
tells us a little story there. Says that I threw a spear so erratically that I beheaded a prince. And so for punishment, I've been thrown into the dungeon. So, there's a lot of commands and things for this game. But as we start in a room, you can hear off to our left, especially if you are using headphones, that there is a door. We hear a door creaking. So that'll probably be our first place to go. But first, I have a skill point available, so I will press C for character info. Stevie 3 the gamer's character details. Allocate skill points. And we have a, have skill points to allocate, so we will go into there. Stevie press 3 enter. the gamer has one skill point. The following skills can be improved. Flurry, level 2 of 5. We have flurry. That will let you do multiple attacks in one turn, but then it has a timeout uh, so that once you've done it, you won't be able to act for several turns. But it is a very powerful attack, and that is usually what I like to increase first. So we'll use plus to put a point into flurry to make it three out of five. Flurry has increased to level three. Flurry, level then we'll three go of back five. Up confirm changes and confirm Skill changes. Point changes saved. General information. All right. So now let me Cancel. get out of here because there's a little bug that makes things weird in there when you do that. So let's go back CP3 into here. General, inf general information. CP3, the gamer is a male human fighter. A male human fighter. Then health we go status. down and have health status. 100 out of 100 health. 20 out of 20 magic points. 5 out of 5 ability points. Overall, not injured. Health status. Okay, so that will tell you what injuries you have and your magic points. And what we care about right now is ability points, which we have 5 of. That will allow us to use flurry and other abilities we will get after we choose our second job. Character statistics. Here's our statistics. Strength. Average. Intelligence. Average. Coordination. Average. Creativity. Average. Speed. Average. Fortune. Undetermined. Character statistics. So we might have named ourselves Stevie 3 the Gamer. We probably should have just called ourselves Average Joe because everything is just average right now. Experience. And this is our experience. Stevie 3 the Gamer is level 1 and needs 500 experience to obtain level 2. Experience. Jobs. And I'm just arrowing down through this menu and then so here we fighter. can get a description, description of the fighter. The fighter is a master of close combat. Fighters focus on skills and abilities that directly damage an enemy. Abilities. And then it shows our abilities. Flurry. We have double flurry, attack. double attack. Double attack allows an extra attack in an attack round. Out adds an extra attack during an attack flurry. round. And then there's flurry. Flurry attacks multiple times in a combat round, but has a penalty to delay. Yeah, so it has a penalty. Double flurry. Um, abilities. And, and then we can see our flurry. skills. Double attack. Plate armor. We can, and then you can increase all these skills. So we could increase plate armor, swords, swords daggers, daggers and, and, and knives, clubs, clubs and hammers. Armor. A fighter can use a, most dual mostly wheel. all of the different weapons and armor. Weapons. Shields, hide armor. You can dual wield short uh, shields. Chain. Scale, axes, large axes. See, we have all short, this flurry, stuff. Attack. So actually, Cancel. skip description. And now, Ability. we can come out of here. Whoops, I just took a step to the south. I didn't mean to do that. So I step back to where I was. I'm going to go in and turn the uh, rate, speech rate down just Options a tiny menu. bit. Save game. So you can press escape to access load this game. menu. Save game. Where you can load, save your game, load your game, change your preferences. Background so I want to change audio. these. Check auto. Change, change, line. change current voice emphasis rate. This is the new rate. There, we'll slow it down just a tick. Ch ch auto save check box. Reset to default. Save preferences. Save preferences. Saving preferences. Preferences saved. Change preferences. Okay, now we're back in the menu. We can push escape to get out of there. Canceled. And then we also start the game with a pet wolf. Stevie, Stevie 3's best character details. General Stevie information. Stevie 3's pet. Stevie 3's pet is a male wolf. Vertical bar for vertical bar. So we have a male wolf. Health stat 165 out of 165 health. 100 out of 100 magic points. Zero out of zero now, ability points. Overall, not when, injured. When you health start status. this game, your wolf will be way stronger than you and do more damage. But right now, it's just called Stevie 3's Pet. General information. So we should rename it to something. Um, rename. Let's think. What should we call it? Please type ah, the character's we'll call it, name. We'll just call it Wolfie. I don't know. Let's just... Now enter the character's family Wolfie name. Wolfie the Wolf. This character's name is Wolfie the Wolf. Is this okay? Stevie 3's Pet is now called Wolfie the Wolf. All right. So we have Wolfie the Wolf. Rename. So let me check on. Right. So now we will start exploring. Um, there's a lot of keyboard commands. I will kind of go over them as I need them. Um, right now I'm gonna. I hear the door to the left. We can find out that we're in a room by pressing X. Or sorry, Z. No. Experience. Oh, Save we're still cancel. in a menu. Okay, so now press X. One door. One door on the west wall. One unexplored. 
So it tells us there's one door in this room on the west wall, and it says one unexplored, meaning we have not been through it yet. So let's get on with it. Oh, first, also, you can access your equipment menu with E. Stevie 3's equipment menu. Head. And then you can tab. Also, in the characters menu, you can tab to get to pet and then to yourself. So, see, I could tab. Wolfie's equipment now, menu. here's Wolfie's Head. equipment. He can't use any equipment. Stevie 3's equipment uh, menu. But Head. we have nothing at all. We're naked. Le right, left hand. We have right no hand. armor. Left hand. All we have. You are holding a decent large bent large wood branch. In we are left holding. Uh, you are wearing nothing. Branch. Remove decent I'm gonna large bent large wood branch. I'm gonna unequip that. You've removed a decent large bent large wood branch. Because honestly, we'll do more damage with our fists than we will with that branch. So we're gonna start going to the west. Now we walked out of the door. You can now hear a higher pitched wind sound. I've never, I, I've never been very good at navigating purely by the wind sounds in this game. Maybe some people have, but I end up running into walls a lot, which you will hear with... Oh, there's also a path to the west, and you can kind of hear that to the left. And then you can hear the door to the right, and you hear the higher pitch sound of wind. That means there's a passage to the north as well. So I guess we already took a step west, so we'll go west. Now we ran into a wall, so we'll go north and west. North. Oh, that sound. Encountered four enemies. Will feed the wolf. Cave bat two. Cave bat has been sent spiraling into the into ground. Bats. Eight damage. The cave bat's torso is mangled. The cave bat has been defeated. Kosh blood sword. Will feed the wolf. Ooh, one we damage. got a named bat. Cave bat three. Stevie three the gamer. Left leg. One damage. Stevie three the gamer. Fight. Okay, so let me explain. There, we stepped on an item. There was that little metallic kind of clinking-ish noise. That was us stepping on an item. I kind of went past it, and as I walked back to it, right as I stepped on it, we encountered these bats. Now, one of these bats has a name. Technique fight. And now we're in the fight menu. Cave bat one. Kosh blood sword. If if they have a name, that means they are more powerful than your standard bat. He is a bat, right? You can press X to examine. Kosh blood sword is a male cave bat. He appears not injured. Okay, he, he has, has no a, equipment. He has no cave bat three. Okay, he is. A cave bat. So we have cave bat one. We had three regular cave bats in this named one. Wolfie already killed one. Let's just standard attack. Kosh blood sword. This one. Kosh blood sword has been sent spiraling to the ground. Three damage. Cave bat one. Wolfie the wolf. Wolfie the wolf. Cave bat three. Cave bat has been sent spiraling to the ground. Right leg. Eight damage. The cave bat's right leg is bitten off. The wolfie the wolf spits cave bat's right leg onto the ground. Kosh blood sword. Kosh blood sword takes flight. Stevie three the gamer. Fight. Okay, so that's another uh, thing in this game is you can target um, enemies to do direct damage to their head or their limbs if you were to think of the number pad as like a person the number 8 you if you hold that down when you attack it will go for the head 4 and 6 will go for left and right arm and 1 and 3 will go for left and right leg and then 5 will just kind of hit the torso so if you kind of picture that, it kind of looks like a little... You can kind of picture a little per, a person there, so... Techniques. Fight. We're going to go after that named one again. Kosh blood sword. Cave bat three. missed him both cave times. Cave takes flight. Cave bat one. Will feed the wolf. One damage. Kosh blood sword. Will feed the wolf. Will feed the wolf. Kosh blood missed. sword. Missed. Kosh blood sword has been sent spiraling to the ground. Right foot. Eight damage. Kosh blood sword's right foot is bitten off. Will feed the wolf swallows Kosh blood sword's right foot. Injured. Right, he's eating himself a snack. Fight. Okay. So now in this fight menu, I guess I should go through that. We have fight techniques. techniques that's Flurry. where we'll find flurry. Flurry, right there. And then we press enter on that and select a target. Can't defend. Then there's defend. That just kind of braces for attack. If you have no option, other option, you can brace for attack and you'll take a little less damage. Battle timeline. This is the battle timeline. You can also access that with L. And it will tell you whose turn is whose. So right now it's my turn. So if I press enter on this. Battle timeline. Stevie 3 the gamer. Cave bat 1. Cave bat 3. Will feed the wolf. Kosh blood sword. So that tells you the order of attack. Throw. Then there's there's throw. Uh, I think it was a system that was kind of going to be incorporated more. But honestly, I've never found benefit to throwing anything in this game. I think it was a never, never completed. Or... There was going to be... I, I, th I think you were going to be able to throw daggers at some point, but it never got added, which is a shame. A lot more could have been done with this game. Pick up. That's pick up. So if, something, if you wanted to pick something up, you'd use a turn to do that. Equipment. 
And then there's our equipment menu. It's the same as I showed you before. Inventory. And then status. our inventory. Retreat. Status where you could check on health and all that, and then retreat where you could try to run. Fight. Cave back. So we're gonna go after this guy again. Five damage. Kosh blood sword's head is mangled. Killed him. Kosh blood sword has been defeated. Cave back one. Stevie three the gamer. One damage. <laughs> Cave bat three. Will feed the wolf. One damage. Will feed the wolf. Cave bat three. Cave bat has been sent spiraling to the ground. Okay, one Six left. Damage. The cave bat's head is bitten off. The wolf feed the wolf spits cave bat's head onto the ground. The cave bat has been defeated. Man, maybe we should have called him Ozzy. Fight. Cave bat. Cave bat has been sent spiraling to the ground. Four damage. The cave bat's torso is mangled. The cave bat has been defeated. Eighty-four experience awarded. All right, so we have completed the battle and we won. So now we were on the square where there was some items. So we will press G to get. The following items are lying here. Cave bat corpse. Cave bat right. We don't want no corpse. Cave bat corpse. Cave bat corpse. Cave bat cave crude. Cave bat crude. Thirty eight copper arrows. Oh, so all that was there was thirty eight arrows. Cave bat crude. Thirty eight. We will pick them up for now. Thirty eight copper arrows. Because eventually we will find a place to sell them. So now let's rest with R, and that will rest you back to full health. Cave bat corpse canceled. Let's exit out of here and press Resting. R. Encountered four enemies. And we we'll encountered more one. bats. Cave bat has been sent spiraling to the ground. Eight damage. The cave bat's torso is mangled. The cave bat has been defeated. Cave bat two. Stevie three the gamer. Left foot. One damage. Cave bat four. Stevie three the gamer. One damage. That seems kind of funny. Stevie three the gamer. Fight. That a bat would swoop down and attack my foot. Cave bat two. So I have flurry, but I don't need flurry for cave any bat of three. these. Cave bat four. So we have. I'll hit cave bat four. Cave bat has been sent spiraling to the ground. Left leg, four damage. The cave bat's left leg is shattered. Six damage. The cave bat has been defeated. Cave there bat three. Oh. Stevie three the gamer. One damage. Uh. Wolfie the wolf. Cave bat three. Cave bat has been sent spiraling to the ground. Eight damage. The cave bat's torso is mangled. The cave bat has been defeated. Cave bat two. Wolfie the wolf. One damage. Stevie three the gamer. Fight. All right. And so the reason I unequipped the tree branch that I started with is that would have hit once and maybe did four damage. But if you unequip it and use your fists, you'll actually do four damage per fist or, or five or six damage. So, like, you get a lot more attack techniques fight than you would with that cave branch. Bat two. Cave bat has been sent spiraling to the ground. Five damage. The cave bat's torso is mangled. The cave bat has been defeated. 80 experience awarded. 80 experience awarded. So let's rest. Resting. Hopefully we can get through a full rest. Encounter nope. four enemies. Cave bat four. Wow. We'll feed the wolf. We'll feed the That's wolf. That's wild. Cave bat three. Cave bat has been sent spiraling to the ground. Eight damage. He's the cave dead. bat's torso is mangled. The cave bat has been defeated. Cave bat two. Stevie three the gamer. Stevie he three missed. the gamer. Fight. Cave bat one. I'll attack number one. And see, I'm going to hold down number pad eight and see if I can hit him in the head. Cave bat has been sent spiraling yep. to the ground. Head. Three damage. The cave bat's head is shattered. His head the cave is bat shattered. Has been defeated. Wolfie the wolf. Cave bat two. Cave bat four. Miss. Stevie three the gamer. One damage. Stevie three the gamer. Fight. Cave bat has I been sent spiraling to the ground. I just went this other one. Four damage. Critically injured. Six damage. The cave bat's torso is mangled. The cave bat has been defeated. Wolfie the wolf. Cave bat four. Cave bat four. Stevie three the gamer. One damage. Stevie three the gamer. Fight. Cave bat four. The cave bat has been sent spiraling to the ground. There four we damage. go. The cave bat's torso is mangled. The cave bat has been defeated. Eighty experience awarded. Alright, we'll try again to rest. Resting. Encountered three. Wow. Enemies. Cave bat two. Stevie three the gamer. Can't get in a damage. full rest. There's a lot of bats. We'll feed the wolf. Cave bat two. Stevie three the gamer. Cave bat one. We'll just go at number cave one. Cave bat has been sent spiraling to the ground. Four damage. Badly injured. Four damage. The cave bat's torso is mangled. The cave bat has been defeated. Cave bat three. Will feed the wolf. One damage. Will feed the wolf. Cave bat three. Cave bat two. Stevie three the gamer. One damage. Stevie three the gamer. Fight. Okay. Cave bat two. Cave bat has been sent spiraling to the ground. Five damage. The cave bat's torso is mangled. The cave bat has been defeated. Cave bat three. Will feed the wolf. One damage. Will feed the wolf. Cave bat three. Cave bat has been sent spiraling to the ground. Eight damage. The cave bat's Death. torso is mangled. The cave bat has been defeated. Sixty experience awarded. All right. Well, we're just racking up some experience, just standing Resting. in this one place. See if we can get a full. Encounter two enemies. No. Nope. Cobalt thief two. Ooh. We'll the wolf. Flight damage. We have some cobalts. We'll feed the wolf. Cobalt thief one. Seven damage. Badly injured. Cobalt thief one. We'll feed the wolf. Flight damage. Stevie three the gamer. Fight. All right. Two cobalt thieves. The thief can. You Hide into slip into the shadows and hide, and then they can sneak attack, which does extra damage. So we want to try to get rid of these quickly. Cobalt Thief One. Let's see what he's wielding by pressing X. This is a female Cobalt Thief. 
She appears badly injured. He is wearing a dubious cotton tunic on her torso, a crude rose buckler on her left arm, and a poor flax loin cloth on her waist. She is wielding a crude copper base lard in her left hand. She has no serious injuries. Okay. Cobalt what about thief this two. one? This is a female cobalt thief. She appears not injured. He is wearing a poor silk tunic on her torso, a dubious large wood buckler on her left arm, and a dubious cotton loin cloth on her waist. She is wielding a crude copper knight sword in her left hand. She so, has no serious injuries. In a lot of roguelikes, your weapons will be like plus one, plus two, and so on to know how good they are. In this game, it denotes them by saying their quality. So these these guys are wielding crude short swords I'm not concerned with. So what I can try to do on this cobalt number two is hit hit her in the left arm by holding down numpad four. And I can try to mangle her arm, which will make her drop that sword. The cobalt thief has been sent sprawling through the air. Left arm, three damage. Cobalt thief two, the cobalt thief climbs to her feet. Will feed the wolf. Cobalt thief two, six damage. Badly injured. Cobalt thief one. Cobalt thief uses hide. Cobalt thief oh, slips into the shadows. Into the shadows. The gamer. Fight. So now we can't attack that one. Unless we kill this one and then the wolf will be able to get at it. Cobalt thief two. Let's try the left arm cobalt again. Cobalt thief has been sent sprawling through the air. Left hand. Five damage. The cobalt thief's left hand is mangled. The cobalt thief drops a crude copper knight sword. Critically injured. Left arm. One damage. The cobalt thief has been defeated. Cobalt thief one. Will feed the wolf. Sneak attack. attack. One damage. Hide has faded from the cobalt thief. But we'll cobalds are so cobalt weak. Thief one. Three damage. Critically no, there's injured. There's no real Steve chance the gamer. of Fight. serious damage from it. Cobalt, cobalt thief has been sent sprawling through the air. One damage. Critically injured. That will was the wolf. terrible. Cobalt thief one. Flight damage. Critically injured. See, he's, he's got thief a buckler one. on. Stevie three the gamer. Which Stevie is three the gamer. causing him Fight. to block attacks. You can hear like the wooden wooden sound when it blocks cobalt the attack. Three damage. The cobalt there thief's torso is mangled. The cobalt thief has been defeated. 150 right. experience awarded. Collected to gold. And we got two gold. Now, on the floor here will be all their gear. And since we are naked as the day we were born, we need some The following items stuff. are lying here. Cave bat corpse. So. Poor flax loin cloth. We don't. Crude copper base lard. Yeah, I'll t we'll take this you to sell. You crude copper base lard. Uh, the only loin cloths I pick up are ones I intend to wear because you, they don't, they don't offer you any gold for loin cloths, so... There's no point to collect those to sell. Crude rose wood buckler. I'll take that. Cave bat, poor flax loin cloth, dubious cotton tunic. I'll take you that. Cobalt thief. Whoa! Sorry about that. I had an email come through. I needed to. Poor silk tunic. Dubious large wood buckler. Okay, so we'll take you that. Cobalt, dubious cotton loin cloth. We'll take you that. Pick up poor silk tunic. You cobalt th crude copper knight sword. You cave back or cave 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 back. All right, now we can go into equipment. Stevie three's equipment menu head. Uh, torso. torso. Equip to be a scotton tunic. We Stevie three's tunic. left arm. Left arm. We can put bucklers on our arms. You're wearing nothing on your. You've equipped a crude rose wood buckler. Right off. You're wearing. You've equipped to be a large wood buckler. So Stevie those are the only ones we have. We'll have better, and we'll be able to compare to see what's what's better later. I'm going to keep using my fists rather than those in Left either hand, of those right short waist. swords but we will on our waist. You're wearing nothing on your waist. Place You've equipped to be a Scotland loin cloth. Cotton loin Stevie cloth. equipment menu. Waist. All right. Cancel. So now we can try Options to re whoops. Canceled. rest. Resting. Resting completed. Okay, let's see how we're Hot doing button. on time here. All right. Real quick, I need to pause this video for one second. Okay, I just paused. I had to go set, go change my notifications so they wouldn't interrupt. I had to kind of read an email there. I luckily it wasn't too personal of an email. It was just somebody emailing me about my music. Um, okay, so now we have finally rested, and the game auto-saves after every battle. You can actually set it to auto-save after however many battles, but we're going to go on. We're going to the north, now west, and see those sounds is when we're running into a wall. So now I don't hear the high-pitched nor the wind sound, so I know we're, we go south. East, south. There's a stairway oh, down here. We came in a door. To a room with a stair stairway down. 
So two doors, one door on the north wall. I pressed Zero X. Unexplored. We've explored one door on the, the door. west wall. One unexplored. On the north wall, there's a w door on the west wall. So we'll come down. Oh, it's right here. Okay. So we'll come out of there. And obviously, you just use your regular arrow keys to move. There is no diagonal movement in this game. Like you'd find in typical roguelikes. It tries to be a roguelike in the, in the fact that, you know, it's always random. There's permadeath. The items are randomized. But <clears throat> there's no, like, you see, you, you see a kobold coming through a door and you're on the opposite side of the room and then you can make tactical decisions about whether you're going to throw something at him, shoot him. It doesn't work like that in this game. It's just turn-based battles, which, you know, it was it was a good attempt at, at a roguelike. I, I'm, my fingers are crossed for us to get a true roguelike that's 100% accessible. So now I can press slash to see our nearest unexplored space. Nearest unexplored space. South, one. Okay, so we'll start heading south. There's another item or items. The following items G are lying to here. get cure poison potion. We want that cure poison potion. You picked potion. up the cure poison potion. That's all that was there. So we keep going south. There's another door. We'll walk Encounter into two another room, and here's more one. enemies. Will feed the wolf. Cobalt two. Will feed the wolf. Just the two. Cobalt one. Stevie two the standard game. cobalts. Nothing to can be concerned with. All right, just because I'm not worried about these. Techniques. I can show flurry. you a flurry. Cobalt one. And we'll just go flurry on this one. We're gonna hit him three times, which it actually might be six times because we're swinging with both fists. So we'll use right flurry. Right leg, six damage. Injured. Double attack. Right leg, four damage. The cobalt's right leg is mangled. The cobalt falls over. See, we Critically just beat injured. him to death. Fist. Five damage. The cobalt has been defeated. Cobalt two. Will feed the wolf. Will feed the wolf. Cobalt two. Five damage. Injured. Will feed the wolf. Cobalt two. Eight damage. Critically injured. Cobalt 2. The Cobalt grabs a fortier leather tunic off the ground. Ooh, I want it that. Will feed the wolf. Cobalt 2. 5 damage. The Cobalt has been defeated. 150 experience awarded. Stevie 3 the gamer has attained level 2. There's level Stevie 2. Three, the gamer's attributes have improved. Gained 5 hit points. Gained 1 magic points. Stevie 3 the gamer now has 1 skill point. Stevie 3 the gamer is now experienced enough for a second job. Will feed the wolf has attained level 2. Will feed the wolf's attributes have improved. Gained 8 hit points. Okay. So we both leveled up. I now have an experience point, or a uh, ability point to spend. Steve, allocate skill points. Or skill points. I can never remember the name of these things. Choose secondary okay, now job. we can choose our secondary job. Select a secondary job for the human fighter, Stevie 3 the gamer. Mage. Okay, so as a fighter, you don't have much magic, so it's not a very... I mean, you can do it, but it's it makes it tough to be a fighter mage. Just because you, you don't have much magic. So I think what I'm going to do here... Wanderer. If I want to try to beat this game without save scumming it or anything like that, I might have my best chance as a fighter assassin. Because assassins also have the sneak attack like those thieves that we saw. But sneak attack can actually be way higher powered as an assassin. Also, you get um, critical hit that you can increase the chances of. And so that's a good thing. So we'll be a fighter assassin. Stevie 3 the gamer is now a fighter assassin. Now we can come in here. Stevie 3 the gamer's character details. Points. Allocate skill points. Skill Stevie points. 3 the gamer has one skill point. The f plate armor. Sword. Deck. Large. Leather armor. I'm just Dual arrowing wheel. through Level here looking. One. Shield. Hide. Chain. Scale. Axe. Large. Mace. Short. Ass. Critical hit. Sneak attack. Sneak attack. Level 1 of 5. Is 1 of 5. We're going to increase that to level 2 because if we if we encounter something really tough, we could hide and then sneak attack flurry. Which will do severe damage. So let's increase the that to, has two. Increased to level two. Confirm changes. And confirm. Skill point changes save. General and information. Our wolf leveled up with us, but there is no skills or anything that can be done with the wolf. Cancelled. You have no control over your pet at all. Um. So we came into this room. Oh yeah, there was stuff here on the ground. Searching let's the floor. Pick that we find up. Cobalt corpse. Crude wolf leather loin cloth. Is that better than mine? Now. It's leather, so it, it, leather is generally better than cloth, but not all characters can wear leather. But we are a fighter, so we can. So let's press C for compare. Compare this item with all characters. And Stevie 3 the Gamer. Arrow down to Stevie 3 the Gamer and press Enter. Now it'll tell us if this crude leather loincloth is better than ours. Checking Stevie 3 the Gamer's equipped armor. Compared to dubious cotton loincloth, crude wolf leather loincloth offers 37% less protection. Less. 37% less protection. So we don't Cancel. even want it. Crude wolf leather loincloth. We can't even sell it. Dubious iron hammer. 
I'll take that. Probably won't use it, but let's see. You can press X to examine. X is always your examine key. This is a cobalt made dubious iron hammer. It has the following attributes. Base damage, three points. Base accuracy, 85%. Okay, we don't it's want that. It's made up of teak shaft. Poor blackwood buckler. Ooh, a bl blackwood bucklers are really good, so I'm going to compare that compare to the ones we're wearing. Stevie, checking Stevie 3, the gamer's equipped armor. Compared to crude rosewood buckler, poor blackwood buckler offers 33% more protection. Okay. Compared to dubious large wood buckler, poor blackwood buckler offers 129% more Ooh. protection. So we're going to want to put that on our right arm instead of the Cancel. other wood poor blackwood one. Buckler. You picked up a poor, okay. poor deer leather tunic. Is this better than our tunic? Ste checking Stevie 3, the gamer's equipped armor. Compared to dubious cotton tunic, poor deer leather tunic offers 13% more protection. Yep. Cancelled. Okay, so your leather we'll take tunic. that. Cobalt Corp. Dubi Cru dubious Copper Morning Star. Mm -hmm. This is a Cobalt made Dubious Copper Morning Star. It has the following attributes. Base damage, 5 points. Base accuracy, eh, 85%. Not a bad weapon. It's made up of an iron... You picked up a Dubious Crude Large Wood Buckler. You Dubious Cobalt Corp. Dubious Iron Hammer. Oh, you I picked thought up I picked... Co cobalt Crude Wolf Leather Loin. Cobalt. Okay. Cancelled. So now, I pressed... Pressed exit to get out of there. Equipment. Steve, torse. You've equipped Switching to port your leather tunic. Stevie, left, right arm. Leather tunic. And on the right, you are arm, wearing a dubious large wood buckler. Crude, poor black wood buckler. Put this on. You've equipped a poor black wood buckler. Left arm. You are wearing a crude rose wood. Dubious large wood buckler. Now, I'd imagine that this is better than this. Uh, that this large wood is better than this. Remove uh, crude rose wood buckler. Rosewood. Dubious large wood buckler. Compare this item with. Checking Stevie 3, the gamer's equipped armor. Compared to crude rose wood buckler, dubious large wood buckler offers 42% less protection. Compared okay. to poor black wood buckler, dubious large wood buckler offers 56% less protection. Alright, so then. We'll come dubious down. Large, crude large wood buckler. Remove crude rose wood. Right arm, left hand, right waist. I didn't want to change loin cloth. You I don't think. Remove, you remove. Nope. Okay. Canceled. So we will rest. Resting. Stevie three, the gamer has restored an ability point. And there's Resting my complete. ability point back from using flurry. And then in this room, we can press X to see how many doors. Two doors. One door on the north wall. Zero unexplored. One door on the east wall. One unexplored. So there's a door to the east. So we'll come to the east. Here's the door. We'll come out. And we are still heading east. Encountered one enemy. Will feed a wolf. Cobalt. Enemies. Six down. Just a cobalt. Cobalt. Stevie 3 the gamer. Stevie 3 the gamer. Cobalt has been oh, sent sprawling through the air. Attacked him. Critical hit. Head. 12 damage. The cobalt's Ooh. head is mangled. The cobalt has been defeated. Got a critical 75 hit. 75 experience awarded. The See following items are dubious K-Bear leather whip. Okay. Cube. Dubious cotton tunic. That's not better Cube. than cobalt ours. Cobalt corpse. Dubious copper buckler. Ooh, is that better Compared than any of our bucks? Stevie's checking Stevie the 3, the gamer's buckler? equipped armor. Compared to crude rose wood buckler, dubious copper buckler offers 95% more protection. Ooh, Compared okay. to poor black wood buckler, dubious copper buckler offers 46% more protection. Okay, so we want that for our left arm. Can you picked up a cobalt, cobalt, co cancelled. Left, right off, left, you are wearing, you've equipped dubious copper buckler. There we Stevie go. Stevie 3's equipped, cancelled. Now, I don't think we took any damage, so I don't think resting is necessary here. Uh, once again, let's... Alright. We've crossed over 30 minutes here, so we have attained level 2, and we will come back in the next video and keep exploring level 1 of the dungeon, and hopefully keep finding some more gear. So, I'll be back in the next one with more Entombed. I'll talk to you then. See you later.